Yeah. Doing a bit more work on the rat rod build. Uh, before I get into what I'm up to today, you'll see on the front here, I have removed the um, brake calipers from the disc. That's what I've done to them here. So what I did was I removed one side, so this side's still visible, and when you look at it, it's still there, but it's actually gone. This should stop it from binding, and um, uh, what I'm going to do is either mount it at the back here, uh, bad light, or at the front of the disc. Uh, not sure how I'm going to mount this yet, but uh, because it's cosmetic, it's not really uh, my focal point at the moment. And if I have to lose it, then so be it. Um, but I'd rather get them on if I can. But what I'm doing today is the back end here. Uh, you can see the the bottom of the chassis rail is lower than the top of the pumpkin here. So uh, what I plan to do is put some sheet in the back, sheet metal across the back here to house the electronics. And I don't want to put it on top of the um, rails because then I'm going to lose about 12 mil of depth and I need all the space I can get back here because the amount of room I have for mounting the electronics very limited and I've got to get two batteries the ESC, the receiver and the multifunction unit all back here the steering servo will be in the front underneath the front cowling so um, I think I'm going to cut these off and put some thoughts into exactly how I can get all this stuff in here. The the top of the roadster will be about as high as these uh, shock stands. So not a lot of room and it'll be curved back here. The, the centre of this will be cut off and possible hopefully I can get everything down in here otherwise one possibility would be to mount some of the electronics to the actual uh, boot lid and have them come up so I won't film that because that's not going to be exciting filming it's a lot of just sitting around humming and hiring cutting out bits of cardboard and laying stuff out I'll just have to cut these temporary um, supports off so I can get in here um, but once I've got something mocked up in cardboard, I'll show you what I'm up to. Right, so I think I'm getting there with this, um, how I'm going to lay out the electronics in the back here. It should be about right, if we take that as being the uh, side profile of the body, it should be tucked in there. Uh, the batteries will sit, um, drop down a little bit on the ends and the speed controller and the receiver will be on the hump in the centre that goes over the uh, the pumpkin. Okay, so what I did was um, fabricated this piece, uh, folded it, cut it, um, put some bead on the edge there, and that fits in the back, but there's issues with it, and um, these batteries don't fit in there properly, and so back to the drawing board I go and what I think I'll do now is use this here this is a, um, a hard drive holder out of a computer it's a decent thickness of steel and it's got this hole machined here so what I'm going to do is cut this piece out the top of this and the hole will go pretty much where the um, pumpkin is <laughs> out to size, swage the, uh, put a bead line down the edges as before and um, I think it's this way, it, will, um, it slides in the uh, 
so it sits on top of the thing and slides in like that. So now it's a flat surface in the lower part of the uh, C section there. Let's see if I can get down here and show you. So this gives me the extra 12 mil, the depth of the um, the chassis rail. It's got the hole where the pumpkin is, and I've got to keep this clear because it's got to account for this sort of stuff. Um, it does have a gap there, but that's not a bad thing. That that gives me somewhere to feed wires through that'll need to go f to the front for the motor, servo, and the LEDs. So I'll be able to feed them under here and keep them hidden. So, yeah, progress. I like this better than that. That was a bit, a bit manky. All right. So I finally got the rear of the chassis um, done, cut off that temporary bracing finally, got the proper back uh, member on I suppose you call it, uh, the plate for the electronics is in and it's got a pre-machined hole in it so the uh, pumpkin and the diff is clear, um, let's look at it from underneath, it's a pretty tidy job for me actually. Must have actually got the welder settings correct this time. I didn't have to grind anything off. So, that's done. That's where the electrics will sit. Little batteries, numb chucked up, and the rest of the electronics will probably be in the centre between the two batteries, I expect. So, um, I'm going to call that a day. I think the chassis is pretty much done. What I have done, you'll notice, is um, I've left this these rails sticking out the back because I'm not entirely sure how long they're going to be yet so I'll cut the surplus off once I start doing the body the other thing you may or may not have noticed is uh, these little nuts, I'll see if I can get in there, see those nuts there? They, they're, lock, they're not lock nuts and the reason for this is while I'm doing the build there's a lot of putting things together, taking things apart so I don't use lock nuts or lock tight until the final assembly so these will be replaced with lock nuts when uh, I do the final assembly. But for now, it just makes it quicker and easier to get things apart. And you can see in there the pumpkin has got room to move up and down. So, good times to rock and roll. I haven't made a final decision on the layout of the electronics, but I think once I get the, an idea when I get the rear end, the body, um, the quarter panels and whatnot, I'll have a better idea of the space I have to play with. I just know it's going to be pretty tight, so, uh, okay, that's me for the day. I can't tell you what I'm going to do next because I'm not too sure. I'm sure it'll come to me before I get back out in the workshop. Alright guys, cheers for watching.